George Rivas was born on May 6, 1970. He was born in El Paso, Texas and raised by his grandparents from age 6, after his parents divorced. In high school, Rivas dreamed of being a police officer, but his interest in money and guns helped shape him into a criminal. He named his dogs Ruger and Beretta, after two gun brands. One year after graduating from East Little High School, he committed his first robbery and burglary. Since he had no prior criminal record, he was sentenced to 10 years of probation. Meanwhile, he enrolled as a general studies major at the University of Texas at El Paso. He dropped out after three semesters, in the spring of 1993. He eventually committed a string of robberies. He robbed a radio shack in El Paso on October 3, 1992. On October 23, he robbed a Checkers Auto Parts store. About two weeks later, he robbed an Oshman's Sporting Goods store. On May 12, 1993, he robbed a Furs grocery store in El Paso. And on May 25, 1993, Rivas and a friend robbed a toys store. He was arrested after this robbery and suspected of having robbed stores in Texas, Oklahoma and New Mexico. Rivas was sentenced to 18 life sentences in prison, 17 of them consecutive. After a few years, he developed a plan to escape. Rivas, along with six other men, broke out of the John Connolly unit in Kennedy, Texas on December 13, 2000. The following day, on December 14, he and his teammates robbed a radio shack in Perland, Texas. On December 24, the group robbed an Oshman's in Irving, Texas. He and his group shot and killed a police officer named Aubrey Hawkins. The reward for him and his accomplices grew after the infamous robbery and murder. Prior prison record, on a life sentence from El Paso County for 13 counts of aggravated kidnapping with a deadly weapon, 4 counts of aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and one count of burglary of a habitation. The Texas Seven were a group of prisoners who escaped from the John B. Connolly unit near Kennedy, Texas, on December 13, 2000. Six of the Seven were apprehended over a month later, between January 21 to 23, 2001. One of them committed suicide before he could be arrested. The six surviving members were all convicted and sentenced to death for the murder of Irving, Texas Police Officer Aubrey Wright Hawkins, who was shot and killed when responding to a robbery perpetrated by the Texas Seven. The group included Joseph Christopher Garcia, was born on November 6, 1971, in San Antonio, Texas. Garcia was originally convicted of murder for killing a man during a drunken altercation. Randy Ethan Halperin, was born September 13, 1977, in McKinney, Texas, currently on Texas death row awaiting execution. Halperin, was originally convicted for child abuse, after breaking a 16-month-old's arms and legs fracturing his skull and beating his face until one eye filled with blood. Larry James Harper was born September 10, 1963, in Danville, Illinois, in Woodland Park, Colorado, committed suicide on January 22, 2001, before he could be captured by law enforcement. Harper was originally convicted of aggravated sexual assault, Patrick Henry Murphy Jr. was born on October 3, 1961, in Dallas, 
Texas. He is on Texas death row awaiting execution. Murphy was originally convicted for aggravated sexual assault after breaking into a woman's home and sexually assaulting her at knife point. Donald Keith Newberry was born on May 18, 1962, in Albuquerque, New Mexico and executed on February 4, 2015, in Huntsville, Texas. Newberry was originally convicted for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. George Angel Rivas Jr. was the group leader. Michael Anthony Rodriguez was born on October 29, 1962, in San Antonio, Texas and was executed on August 14, 2008, in Huntsville, Texas. Rodriguez was originally convicted for having hired a hitman to murder his wife in 1992. He was an alumnus of Central Catholic Marianist High School, and had taken teacher training classes at Southwest Texas State University, now Texas State University. Rivas and accomplices he handpicked for the escape broke out of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Connolly Unit, about an hour south of San Antonio. They overpowered workers, stole their clothes, broke into the prison armory for weapons and drove off in a prison truck. They left behind an ominous note, you haven't heard the last of us yet. While out of prison, they supported themselves by committing robberies. Hawkins was shot 11 times and run over with a stolen SUV driven by Rivas as the gang held up a sporting goods store closing on the holiday eve. They drove off with loot that included $70,000 in cash, 44 firearms and ammunition for the guns. They were arrested a month later in Colorado, ending a six-week nationwide manhunt. One of the fugitives, Larry Harper, committed suicide as officers closed in. In 2008, accomplice Michael Rodriguez, 45, who at the time of the breakout had a life term for arranging the slaying of his wife, ordered his appeals dropped and was executed. Rivas planned the escape, while serving 17 life sentences for aggravated kidnapping and aggravated robbery and another life sentence for burglary. The seven escapees, used a white truck to escape from the prison. The white prison truck was found in the parking lot of the Walmart in Kennedy, Texas. The Texas 7 first went into San Antonio right after breaking out of the complex. Realizing that they were running out of funds, they robbed a radio shack in Perland, Texas the next day on December 14 at around 2 a.m. In order to bypass the otherwise competent store security, they entered an adjacent computer software store wherein they proceeded to knock down the flimsy sheetrock wall to the other side. Once inside and undetected, they tethered the radio shack safe to their truck, and literally dragged the large safe outside of the building, causing damage to the parking lot and pavement. On December 19th, four of the members checked into an Econo Lodge motel in Farmers Branch, Texas where they decided to rob an Oshman's Sporting Goods in nearby Irving, Texas. On December 24, 2000, they held up the store and stole 44 guns. A customer standing outside of the store noticed the commotion inside and called police. Irving Police Officer Aubrey Hawkins responded to the call arrived on the scene and was almost immediately ambushed. His autopsy would show that he had sustained 11 gunshots and his body had been run over by the fleeing gang. After Hawkins' murder, a $100,000 reward was offered to whoever could snare the group of criminals. 
The reward would climb to $500,000 before the group was apprehended. George Rivas, 41, was executed by lethal injection on the 29th of February 2012 in Huntsville, Texas for the murder of a police officer while on escape from prison. Rivas became the second of the group executed. He was pronounced dead at 6.22 p.m., 10 minutes after the injection began. His last words were, first of all, for the Aubrey Hawkins family, I do apologize for everything that happened. Not because I am here, but for closure in your hearts. I really believe you deserve that. To my wife, Sherry. I am so grateful you're in my life. I love you so dearly. Thank you to my sister and dear friend, Catherine Cox, my son and my family. Friends and family, I love you so dearly. To my friends, all the guys on the row, you have my courtesy and respect. Thank you to the people involved and the courtesy of the officers. I am grateful for everything in my life. To my wife, take care of yourself, I will be waiting for you. I love you, God bless. I am ready to go. Thank you for watching Death Row. Today's shout out goes to, Deborah Prince.